Thank you all so much for stopping by today. So before I pull these Johnny jump ups, I just want to tell y'all how pleased I was with these over the growing season. And it is my intention in the fall because Johnny jump ups for us are, uh, uh, we can sow them in the fall and they last um, over the winter. They just kind of slow their growth down. And then in, in the spring, they really jump up, Johnny jump ups. But um, this is also an edible flower that we are going to actually grow in our organic uh, garden. If you remember me telling y'all our patio uh, containers that we have on the patio, we just change them out every year with different flowers based on the season. So we don't um, grow those organically, but we are going to put some in um, we are going to put some in the organic garden so that we can put in our salads, but I am so pleased with these. We started these from seed uh, last fall. So if you are unsure when you're supposed to start seeds for your growing zone, I'm going to put the link to the seed starting masterclass in the description. Go ahead, click on it, get the seed starting masterclass so you don't have to look at everybody on social media starting different plants at different time and you think it's time for you to start it and it's not. So this is going to give you a clear understanding of when you're supposed to start seeds, how we um, determine that whether it's indoors or outdoors how you determine it based on where you stay not where anyone else stays okay so it's going to break my heart but i'm going to go ahead and pull these uh right here because we want to go ahead and get our summer annuals going i know that once they're going and growing and getting bigger they're going to look just as pretty as the johnny jump ups but i just wanted to tell y'all if you want a beautiful flower that's in your garden um this is definitely a must have the wind has really been blowing it i'm going to move back up a bit just so you can see how big that they get and these this was only it was only like we saw block these but it was only a few and they just really took off and growing. So um, again, I highly recommend this, uh, this plant right here. It's just so pretty. Okay, so let me tell y'all what had happened as to why I even got these flowers right here because I gotta get myself in order. I'm not sure what is going on right now on why I keep thinking that I gotta keep doing stuff like this. But anyway, so once again i'm out and about and i saw these but what really pulled them to me were the throat of the flower you see how it's like a yellow and a it's almost like a black or a dark burgundy so i thought wow that would be pretty in the hanging containers that we just changed out but let me show you what i went and picked up as i was coming home and ended up putting those in the hanging containers Okay, so this is what we ended up picking up and putting in the hanging baskets. It's still a calabrocoa, still has a um, yellow throat to it, but I, I don't know. I don't know what happened, y'all. I am serious. I don't know. So we put, we got two of these and we put them in the hanging basket that is in um, our flower garden right here. And we're doing, uh, we'll bring you some of the updates on that later. We have like one half done we've planted some bulbs and so we're waiting for everything to come up y'all i was a little bit sad as i was pulling my johnny jump ups but this is so pretty let me get in closer for y'all this is going to be so pretty as it grows and the chartreuse grass is going to look so good i can't wait to see it drape over so we spaced them um the amount that it said on the tag apart so that they can grow um, and fill in so that's why we have the little hole there even when they're small you have to be um, make sure you give them enough space so that they can grow and um, flourish and that is what these are going to do this is going to be so pretty um, I've told y'all before I really do love these self-watering containers they are by Crescent Garden but they are a little they are a little pricey but I'm, I'm going to tell y'all to me is worth it 
um, because these two containers, we have one on each side, like I don't have to water them as much as I do like my normal containers, like my lavender right here, you know, I have to stay on top of watering it. But these, you pretty much fill it up based on the raindrops. They have three raindrops. You put the water in here and I don't fill them back up until it gets down to one raindrop. But it, what it does is it keeps it moist from underneath. So it's just kind of um, keeping everything not overly wet, but just keeping the soil nice and moist, um, like bottom watering. That's what I think of it as. But um, yes, they are one of my favorites. I wish I could just switch out all of my containers to these, but uh, that'll take a little while. So, um, I just want to get a little bit closer. I don't know. It's something about the throat of it with the, like the burgundy, almost black around it, but it's very pretty and I can't wait to see it grow. So, thank you all so much for watching this video and I hope you share this video with your family and your friends. If you are not a subscriber, we would absolutely love to have you as a subscriber. So make sure you tap the bell so that you can receive notification each and every time we upload a new video. Again, thank you all so, so much for watching. And until the next video, bye-bye.